Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news and now the news in details. Federal government makes fresh decision regarding the removal of ban on interstate movement. The federal government of Nigeria has entered on the possibility of having the restriction on interstate movement completely lifted from Friday, June 12. This was, however, disclosed by Mr. Sani Aliyu, who serves as the National Coordinator for the Presidential Tax Force PTF on COVID-19 during the committee briefing in Abuja. He recalled that the federal government had earlier placed a ban on interstate travel in a bid to help curtail the spread of the coronavirus pandemic in the country. Although there has been so many reports of violations of the ban on interstate movement with security agencies tasked with the responsibility of enforcing the order reportedly encouraging the, vi the violations. However, according to Sani, since local flights have been given a clearance to operate, it would not be ideal that the movement by road to state be continually restricted. Hence, the general public should expect our road to be opened up for interstate movement in no distant time. So my people, what is your own take about this? I think there is no need for these people to start telling us all this. They should just tell Nigerians that they are sorry for the punishment that they've put Nigerians into. Trust me, you know, it is not easy to be, to be, to be idle and to be, to be locked down. It is not easy. And above all, we all know the lifestyle of we Nigerians. There is no, you know, talk about the electricity, talk about the security, talk about everything. Nothing will lack everything. And our interstate lockdown were all made for their selfish interest. In fact, there is no coronavirus in Nigeria. Let's just put it like that because you can see that there are a lot of things that, they, that, that, that was done in Nigeria that you know that. Are you sure that there is virus in Nigeria, despite all the hot weather, despite all this and that? You know, we all know our government in Nigeria, and they can inflate and inflate a lot of things because of what they want to get. I'm telling you, you know, people were saying that all the punishment you put these noble and innocent citizens, God will surely expose you guys and return it back to you. Is there any interstate ban before? People have been traveling. Let's just be realistic to ourselves. Even when they said there is a ban in all, 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 all the states, there has been traveling. They've been, they've been traveling with, their, with plane. The federal government, I'm telling you. And I wish, I wish Nigeria could come together and pray for God to give us man after our own hearts. Man that will lead Nigeria out of this mess. People were saying that expect everybody that makes here to go straight to their point. But revise in the case, reverse in the case. Someone corporates things senseless. How do we feel when someone says the same thing to other people? They said some people are, are, how can you be abusing a whole president of the federation that happens to be, to be hedge mate with your grandfather? You lack home training. I'm sure you will be beating your parents at home. You know, so why some set of people are still like supporting the president about what is going on. Government with no direction. Another person will still come up with another story tomorrow. Where is President Buhari and Oshibaju? The fact is that interstates were never restricted. Except they don't want to travel. And that is, that is it. They were asked what was the essence of opening hotels without interstate travel. Contra contradiction halting them now. So these people, the federal government should remove the interstate lockdown. The massive exploitation, extortion of motorists by security personnel as Undo and Edo multiple checkpoint is too much. And that of Edo State is terrible as they collect 500 naira, 1,000 naira per check-in point. You can imagine. Even Bini bypass, they collect 1,000 naira. That's too much. Per person, driver included, 
from any vehicles they suspected to be transport to be a transport vehicles. Let us now talk about both end of the rivers Niger Bridge, which is two thousand naira. That's a lot. This is to tell you that Nigerians are being exploited daily. They are being exploited. You know, you know, the people Nigerians were saying that my ta Mr. Tax Force President stopped beating around the bush. I was expecting you people to come out and say that the truth. And at the same time, shame the devil. But anyway, thank go thanks to God that hunger did not kill us. But I, but I want you people to address, to address on this, which is those that lost their jobs and how will they get jobs from now. You know, during, during this lockdown of a such, you know, a lot of people lost, the, in fact, they lose a lot of things. Be here the job and all that. A lot of people... They lose a lot of things. But my question is that how would they be able to regain those things back? How would they be able to regain it back? And that is, it. That is the issue about it. You know, people were saying that by the interstate movement, restriction so far is a mere theory. I am a constant road user and I, I can authoritatively, authoritatively say that it's just to enrich the pocket of the security agent who claims to be enforcing it. This is a cruel decision by the federal government unless the government is not honest to its citizens on the reality of the coronavirus. It is too early to waive restrictions on local flight and interstate movement. Maybe the government is economical with the truth of coronavirus in Nigeria. Definitely, they are. Definitely, the government is inflating the number of cases in Nigeria. Definitely, definitely, this is the, exactly what is going on. Whether we like it or not, a lot of things is wrong in our government in this Nigerian system. Because sincerely, Nigeria lacks empathic leaders. Because they know once they open here, flight ban. The common Nigerian will revolt. You have, we have to put Nigerians through so much. They have to put Nigeria through so much, through so much hardship for the pandemic would have been caught for now. So you've heard it all. What is your own take about this? What do you think? Your comment is highly appreciated and kindly drop your comment at the comment section below. For those who subscribe, we want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We say God bless you if you're yet to do so. Kindly press the subscription button below. And also please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news, you will be the first person to watch our latest news. God bless you once again. Always stay safe. Don't forget to press the like button also. Bye.